Hello YouTube, this is Daz of the Cameraman. Today is Thursday, August 23rd, 2018. And in this video I'm showing you Saturn, which I filmed through my Nikon P900 earlier this evening. Now I'm actually recording the playback on my screen to make the file size much smaller for uploading. It's not the raw video straight off the camera. You'll see me in this video changing the exposure setting on the camera by shining a torch into the lens and then setting the AEL or auto exposure lock on the P900 to get the best exposure setting. So I'll play the video now and talk through it. So that is Saturn with the camera overexposed just on the auto setting. Now you can see me shining the torch in. Now it was actually too bright so we can't see Saturn so I had to release it and then try again. Second time round, I got it just right, and then we can see the rings. So it's nice and clear, and very shortly I will release it again, and uh, try a few more times just as, uh, as an example, and trying to get better results. I've also got the camera set on a uh, telescope tracking mount, which is why it's remaining centered instead of drifting. It certainly helps having it on a tracking mount, makes it a lot easier. Okay, so I've just released the AEL or auto exposure lock and I'll try again with the torch. You just shine the torch into the lens and with a bit of trial and error you can get the best results. I'll just pause the video as well just to show you this little orb down here is actually a blemish on the lens. It's not something in space, it's actually on the lens. It shows up whenever I do something like this. So there we go, that's how we can set the camera to get the best results for filming objects such as Saturn or Jupiter or even Venus by setting the AE lock on the P900. Thank you for watching.